yo guys, what's going on? It's Ricky Glaza here for another Braille video. I'm here with the lovely Janice Spitari. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can learn it. <laughs> and she's gonna do a lovely 50-50 right here on this ledge. She's gonna do the gnarliest, longest ollie on 50-50 grind that she has ever done in her entire existence of skateboarding. Are you scared? A little bit. We have been seeing her progression, rolling, kickflip, ollie up curve. She is absolutely killing it. And now, the ultimate challenge. See, How do you feel? I, oh, look, I'm no stranger to this ledge. A long time ago, when we did as many tricks as I could in like an hour, no, as many tricks in like 30 minutes, we had put the little ramp, wherever that is, little ramp before this, so I rolled Whoa. into a 50 50 and I rolled into a front 50 and a back 50. But and a back 50. Yeah, no. we did back 50 too. I don't think we, so. I've all lead into a 50/50 on like a flat ledge and you know grinded like this long. But I have never all lead on to a grind this long. This is the perfect ledge for it. I think everything's looking good. You're building all the skills. We're, I think we're ready. But let's do some stepping stones to work up to it. Eh? All right. I think first things first. Let's drop in on this. What? I'm very curious to see how this video goes because the first two you were like super hesitant, didn't know if you could do it. Now this one you're very confident. So I'm curious to see if you back it up or if it's going to be interesting for you. Look, I like grinds. This is this is my comfort zone because me thinking about alling into this, this is something that I'm going to do slowly and precisely. And I like slow precision. It's fast speed that scares me. Slow precision, I feel confident and I feel in control. That's so I've, relatable. I have faith in this. All right, so I think first things first, let's drop in on this and ride off. So just like this. Now just do that. Just do that. I, I don't have a ton of experience of rolling off something when it's at an angle. And I don't like to drop in on an angle. But here we go. You wanna put money on the skip? No. Dang it. Come on. She thinks I'm a fool, Rick. She thinks, she thinks she's gonna get money out of that? Yeah. Quit trying to finesse me with these bets before Ricky and I make you ollie up this. I've never done this. This is like, I've for real never done this. I tried. I actually, that was supposed to be an ollie. I just forgot how to hit my tail. It's different to hit your tail when you're going downhill. I see, I didn't hit the tail. You have to push it down, so. You did, that was good. You wanna do it again? You gotta roll away though. Wow. Does it so easy? All right, what I'm thinking, like you did once before in another life. You want me to run this with you, Janice? Yeah, Gabe, do it with me. <laughs> Let's go. I gotta skate it front side though. All right, Gabe, your turn. If you slam hard on my board, I'll be so hyped. <laughs> Whoa! What was the whoa? Too tight, truck? No, your bearings are like super fast. Uh -huh. Woo! Woo! Oh. Wow. So great. Sorry, that took three tries. Now it's my time for excuses. No warm up, not my board, little sleep. But you already did it. Why didn't you make an excuse after you did it? Because it took three tries. I'm nervous about getting lined up. This is gonna be faster than if I just stood still and went down it. You've already done this before. I know. Mm. Ah. Wow! You're better than me. I just probably had more of this going on than you. If Derek should drop in in the next video, leave it in the comments below. You know what I'm thinking now, I want to see from you, is ollie on to the pad and roll down, like not in a 50, I think. I think like this. I don't know about 
how that matches. Be honest, I think you should just do it. I, I think so. But I think you could just get in or whatever and just get out and roll down. But I don't need to do that because I can grind. Or you just want to run it. Okay. I think the hardest thing is going to be landing on the 50-50. Well, this is my tip for you. If the board is like this and you start grinding, jump off. Get out of there. No touch. Help me. Give me. Alright, well, yeah, I guess. See, what's a little bit hard about this is your back truck's gonna be close. Yeah, to you. I know. Going right into it, right into the money. Yeah, you just gotta do it. I and you don't need that much speed because it's already downhill. This is gonna be just a commitment thing. This is just All scary. Right. What I want you to do is wait until you get to the line, really to the line, like here, and then Ollie. But no. But just one time, so oh. then I can have confidence. But you need to build your muscle of having to summon it without doing that. You have to learn how to get the confidence yourself. You know, before we started dating, he was a lot nicer to me. Yeah. That's how it always goes. You got it. You really got it. I, this, is, this, I think, is a fully just commitment thing, and it's scary to commit. I also think doing it with a little bit of speed is so much easier than stationary. I just wanted to have one easy one and then move. I think just run it. Honestly, like that was almost it. Yeah. Count it? Absolutely, first try. <laughs> You don't want an abundance of speed while you're learning anyways. Yeah, I just have to land on it. That's gonna be the hardest thing is to land perfectly locked. <laughs> to be honest, I think you just need to focus more on just like getting a solid ollie. Yeah, I think because I'm thinking about so many different things, it's like I'm totally blowing the ollie. What you need to tell yourself is big pop, big pop. That's, that's the most important thing. Oh! Should I practice just landing in a 50 50 on some other coping? Practice all in on, like from moving? That's what you feel would help, but. Because maybe I need a little more practice landing in the 50 50. What I would advocate in general, if you're like really gonna hit it really going fast, is I would all in into the bank. But I know that you don't really like doing that. Like, a good way to practice hitting the tail and going off. It's just like. I think my issue is more of the landing on a thing. Yeah, but alling onto a flat ledge is way different than alling into like a down ledge like this. But I, I know I get tripped up when I'm moving in into a 50-50 versus standing still. Yeah, I mean the only thing that's really going to change that is if you just keep trying to pop it. I think I think maybe I try it on that just a few times and then do it. I, yeah, all right, let's do it. But I mean, you're just going to do it perfect every time. I, if I was staying still, I would do perfect. But moving, different story. So I'm going to do it just like how I'm going to do it on that one. I'm creeping in, creeping in. You got on. You didn't pop the tail in. It's getting that back wheel on though, and that's where I was messing up up there too. I think one of the things that I've noticed when I've been trying 50-50s, when I think too much about trying to get onto it, that's when I don't get that on. But when I think about just doing an ollie, then I can land on it. Yeah, I have to like remember to do the ollie. I think when I'm rolling, I'm like thinking so much about aiming for it. And I'm like, oh, get on it. And then I come short. It's 
pretty good. I just need to land in the 50 50. Yeah, I don't want to change your angles too much. But when I do 50 50, I'm coming in really at kind of an angle like this. But I have a lot more speed, and like I wouldn't be able to do that stationary. But you're very, very parallel. Like, yeah. Maybe a little bit too much. Well, because even, even coming in parallel, I end up with both wheels on top and then my back wheel's not on. Like, I turn onto it a lot. So that's why I try to not to start at an angle, because if I start at an angle, I'm for sure just going to end up on top. Wow! Wow! That was a good one. Okay. You're too good. That was really sick. Imagine she 50 from 180s out. Oh, that'd be so lit. Land switch. All right, you got it. Just do the same. That was beautiful lock in. Yeah, I like didn't even hit the tail to the ground. I missed the tail. Like, I don't know what it is. That was it. That was fully it. A good decision to jump off. I think you just keep getting deep pops and getting the board on there, and then we can worry about like really getting the trucks locked on. And if you land in Willy, just keep going down. You got it. I can tell when I'm like not popping at all, and it's so annoying. I felt like I popped, I just didn't land in the right angle. Oh my God. Why, why, why was that? Why did you step off? I, okay, I was locked in, but my body got twisted, and so I could tell my weight was like way over here, so I thought I was gonna like, I don't know. Other ones, great decision. Not locked, get out of there, but that, you are perfect. I think you were just a little, everything happened too quick. But next time you get there, you could have just landed the whole thing. I just, well, I just thought like, I thought that my body was like way over or something like. The main thing to think about, like that's good to think about that, but the main thing is just, ah, oh, the truck's on. If it's here, get out of there. If it's here, get out of there. If you're feeling good, ride it out. Man, that was almost so sick. You got it, right? Now kick flip, kick flip in a line. Kick flip in a line. That was two, you got a two to make it true. Wow, I'm so surprised. Yeah. I'm like surprised that I locked in, right? You did it. That was legit. Wasn't that sick? Yeah. That was really that solid. Was a big grind. Wow. That yeah, lock. that's that's that was locked on all the way home. That felt so cool. <laughs> felt like I was really skateboarding. <laughs> I that was think, really sick. Look, I, like, I feel like I can say, since I'm in this phase, that like, a lot of beginner stuff, it feels like you're not really skateboarding. Like When I'm just like doing something standstill or a little like just pop onto a nose thing and like I'm not moving, like it's like, oh yeah, I did a trick, but like I'm not really skating. And then like doing that where I was like moving, all it on, grinded, it was like, whoa, that was skating. That was like, it was real. <laughs> all right, 50, land, then come here, shove it. You got that? Hey, that's too fast for a regular shove. Two to make it true. Body varial. All right, we'll shove. just do another one. But maybe try the shove. I was going to say keep it, but I'm being kind. Look, what about if I do a shove on that next bank? Good speed on that. Oh. See, you could have you saved that, but it was a little bit awkward. I feel like I, I, I land a lot of them very close shoulder. Oh! I, that one, the 
Oh, the almond was really good. Really? Yeah. It felt, the whole time I was grinding, I wasn't actually sure if my wheel was on top of it or on the side. Like, I, I, I'm, and maybe this is because I'm new to grinding. I, like, couldn't tell if I was like this. Yeah. But, like, I thought maybe my wheel was on top of the ramp instead of in it, so I was just like, please don't fall, please don't fall. You want to see? Well, what do, what do I do now to make this better? What do you mean? You I'm achieved like, the goal at hand. I'm is like, that it? I'm Not all of them are going to be extreme battles. But look how much you progressed. You were scared and now you just boom, fitty, 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 fitty. Even with the distraction of me in the mix, yeah. you still did it perfect. I'm hyped. I'm, I'm really excited. I was definitely a little bit scared in the beginning. And the ones that I got were the ones that I just was like, just ollie, like just do a good ollie and then I'd land on it. The only thing I thought about was doing a nice ollie and lifting. That's what that was it. What would you say to someone that dreams of grinding a down hover? I mean, I, I feel like what I did felt good where I, like making sure I could like felt comfortable alling on to something and landing. And then also it was very helpful um, to just start on the coping, like not moving and just feel what it felt like to grind the whole way. Cause then I was like, okay, I know how to ollie on and I know how to grind now just do it together so if you can break down the pieces of a trick that you're working on and like get comfortable with the first half and get comfortable with the second half then it'll give you more confidence to like do the full thing i think that's great advice and right on ptpd is a good way to really just get used to grinding and just perfect so that was cool that you can do the right on and then you can all on boom yeah in the comments guys congratulate janice it's always nice to have some nice colorful hair energy in the videos good work let uh, give us some supportive words you can follow her on youtube on instagram on tiktok those links are in the description there are some videos right there subscribe like leave in the comments below we will see you in the next one we have everything you need at brailleskateboarding.com